All right, hi everybody. I wanted to make a little video to try to explain all these extra flats and sharps and everything that we're dealing with in the new Motown piece. Okay, so the first thing I want to start with, just as we've been talking about, each of the instruments has seven different positions or seven different valve combinations. As you can see right here, right here are the trombone positions, and then over here are the corresponding valve combinations. All right, so for instance, when the trombone is all, all the way in, it's just like using no valves. The instrument's in its shortest position. That's the concert F for the bass clef people or for the G for trumpets, okay, that we're starting on the jump start. Now, as I add a combination, the instrument gets longer, just like going out on the trombone, it's going to get lower. So you'll see on the positions, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then you'll see combinations, open, second, one, one and two, two and three, one and three, one, two, three. Those are the seven different combinations if you look right here, okay? So I'm gonna play those. So this starts with the F or G for trumpets. Okay, now I'm on this low B flat or C for trumpets right here. I'm gonna start there and I'll go down another seven. That's the lowest note that we have on the instrument right there. Okay, so starting at the very bottom. Now I'm back up to this F that, or this G for trumpets, the concert F that we start jump start on. Now as we go higher, we don't have to use quite all the tubing that we have. We start at a higher position. So we actually start from that F going up. We only have to go to our fifth position or two to three, two and three to get our F sharp or G flat. Hear that get a little bit higher? I'm going to continue. I'm going to do this open, two and three, one and two, one, two, open. And that takes me up to our high concert B flat or the high C for trumpets. Now, if I go up, if I start on that high concert B flat or C for trumpets and I go higher, you see I only have to start on the fourth position or one and two. And the higher it gets up, you just don't have to go down quite as far. All right, so I'll start on the high B flat. my open and that's the concert D or that's an E for trumpets now I'll start on that one and then you only have to go to your third position to go up so I'm going to start all the way at the bottom and go all the way to the top of everything that I've written here so it's all the way from this low E or that's an F sharp for trumpets okay all the way up to the high high F or G for trumpets watch my positions here, sorry I'm acting like a weatherman here, <laughs> okay, uh, flat means low and sharp means high. So if I'm on a combination that's on a natural note, let's say a G. So right here we have a G for bass clef, which is fourth position for trombones or one and two for tubas, okay, or we call that A in the trumpet world over here, okay. So this is the note just barely above the F that we start jump start on. Here's that F. Now here's the G. Or A for trumpets right there. Okay? So what I'm going to do is get this going here. Okay? So if I'm on that G, if that has a sharp next to it, that means I need to go up one position. So on trombone, you'd go from fourth to third position. Or with the valve combinations, if you're on a one and two, that means I go up to the first. So that's, here's a G, here's a G sharp, or on trumpet we call it A and A sharp. Okay, now if that was flat, I would go down from fourth to fifth position, or one and two, down to two and three. I hope that's clear, okay? And they all work the same way, okay? So really take a look. This is your entire fingering chart right here, okay? Again, these are the trombone positions written in blue right here. These are the bass clef names, which trombones and tubas will use. Trumpets, these are your names. Notice they're just one higher, you know, okay? They're actually one lower, sorry. And then, so these, and these are the valve combinations in black, 
These are the trombone positions in blue. I tried to color code everything so it was as clear as possible. Okay, all right, so now, key signature. The key signature, if you look at the music on the far left side, you're gonna see a bunch of extra sharps and flats, or maybe you'll see nothing, okay? If you see nothing, like trumpets, when we were first starting, you didn't have anything in that key signature over there, all right? That means you play every note in its natural form. Okay, so if I'm looking up here, you have an E natural, F natural, G natural, A natural, B natural, C natural, so on and so forth, okay? So, let's say, now all of a sudden, let's go ahead and go to sharps over here. I'll start with the bass clef because we're dealing with sharps right now. Okay, the sharps are always in the same order, okay? F, C, G, D, A, E, B. That's the order. They're always in the same order. You will never see like a, like a D sharp in the key signature without there being these other three sharps first. They always fall in that same order, okay? So, now, if we're playing a piece and it just only has that one sharp, that F sharp right here, or over here in the treble clef, it's on the top line, okay? Now, that means any F that you see, you're going to have to play in its sharp form. So, on tuba or trombone, on tuba, it's open, open F, but if you have that F sharp, that means, let's see, here's that F right here, oh, I need to go up F sharp. Two and three combination. I'm going to play the F and then the F sharp, and you'll hear it get higher when I add vowels. Hear that? Okay. All right. Trumpets, for you all, your F sharp is right, let's see, your F natural is first valve right here, but if you have that one F sharp, then that means any Fs that you see. And it doesn't matter if it's a high F, a super low F. They only put it once in the key signature. It calls for all of them. It takes care of all of them, okay? If you see that F sharp, then that means you need to go up one position, so you need to go from first valve to second valve. And you'll hear it get higher. On the opposite end, if it's flat, okay, let's pick one, let's go, let's stick with trumpets over here, let's go with E, okay? So trumpets, our E right here, one and two, like the low, the, on the bottom, the very bottom line of the staff, this one right here, if you have that E and there's no flats, there's no nothing in the key signature, that means you just play your regular one and two E. But if you happen to have, let's see you have B flat and E flat, let's see if that E flat is up there. Now again, even though it's up on this space right here, it works for all the E flats. So yes, if you had an E down here, you would play that flat as well. So you go, screen here again, so I can see it, great, great. Wonderful, so I hope that is crystal clear. Okay, so with the piece that you have, you have a lot of sharps in it, okay? So check these out, check all of these sharps out. Again, they're always be in the same order, F, C, G, D, A, E, B. Let's go over another one. Let's go back over here to bass clef, because I know we have some G sharps in the tuba and trombone parts, okay? And I believe in the piece we actually have four sharps, F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, D sharp. So if we have a G, if a note comes and it's either on this line or the upper one, it doesn't matter. If there's a sharp in the key signature, again, the key signature is on the far left side of the page. If there's a G sharp right there, then that means if you see a G, you need to play it in its sharp position. So trombones and tubas, here's that G right here again. All right, we need to play it sharp. So we need to play it either go from fourth played in third position for the trombones or for the valves, the tubas, you typically play that G1 and 2. If we have to play a G sharp, so you're going to play it first valve. I'll play the G natural, then the G sharp. You can hear it goes higher. It's kind of like Jaws. That's all Jaws is. If you want to play Jaws, it's just moving up a half step. Pick a note and play, then play it sharp form, and there you have Jaws right there. Okay? So, trying to think if I missed anything. I think that pretty much explains it. Again, they will always be in the same order. The order, the flats are easy to remember because the first four spell bead and then GCF. I like to think bead, greatest common factor. Okay? And then the sharps is that same thing and it's flip-flopped. And I'll tell you what, I think a good assignment, why don't each of you come up with a sentence that correlates to each of these letters, just like I did with the bead, greatest common factor. At one of the schools I teach at, they like to teach for the flats, 
battle ends and down goes Charles' father. And then for sharks, I go, Father Charles goes down and ends battle. Okay? Now, they're so similar, sometimes people get those confused. So I actually like for my students to come up with their own, with their own sentences, their own words that, that work along with that. Sorry, I can't think of the, the name. It's not alliteration. It's not a pun. Maybe somebody can tell me. I'll, I'll have to look that up. Um, but come up with your own scheme to memorize that, okay? Because they will always be in the same order. And if you know that order will be a lot faster, you won't have to think about each note. You'll just be like, oh, that's four sharps, F, C, G, D. I know that right there. Okay, I think I have everything. I think I got it. Feel free to send me an email if you're confused about anything. All right, I'm just going to stand back here and let you look at this one more time. Everything is on here. Feel free if you want to take a screenshot of this or something. Uh, I will keep this on the board uh, at least for the next week. All right, so feel free to, to do any screenshots or anything like that that you want. Great job these last couple days. We're throwing some really hard stuff at you. And, uh, and I really appreciate your diligent work. Thank you so much.